Let's get our feet hip width apart, coming into mountain pose for our warm up in our alien location. So, feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, hips open, shoulders back and down. Activate your core and lengthen through your spine. Relax your arms. Take a moment to focus inward and keep that inner focus. Inhale your arms to shoulder level, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, keep the shoulders down, and then clasp your hands behind you. Just press the fingers to the floor and lift your heart, stretch your head back, and pivot over. Lift your hands, drop your head, move your chin around, spread your toes out, lift your sitting bones, and breathe. And then inhale, bending your knees slightly, chin slightly in as you walk your way up into the back bend. Chest high, shoulders down, stretch your spine, and don't forget to breathe. And then inhale upright, release your arms, feel a little bit more warmth through the spine, through the torso. And again, arms reaching out, hands to your heart, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the opposite way behind you, so other finger outside. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, and again, exhale over. Take a moment, let that back get a good stretch. Toes also spreading out. And then again, wind your way up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and stretch your spine. Take a moment and breathe. And inhale upright, release your arms, and take a moment just feeling what's going. Side stretches, so let's bring the arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands over your shoulders. Clasp them and bring your arms back by your ears. Pull your shoulders and sitting bones down and your head high. Keep the shoulders facing the front along with the hips as you lean to the side. Push out through your head and hands and down into the foot you're leaning away from. Get that rib area stretching upward. Inhale to the top, keep the shoulders down, and switch your arms, and again, bring them by your ears. Everything straight as you lean to the side. Maximize with those hands and head reaching one way and the foot down the opposite as you reach through those arms. And inhale upright and release. Coming into mountain pose, just feel your sides more open and open your spine for a twist. Arms out, palms to the ceiling, hands overhead, and clasped at your elbows. Sitting bones down, stretch the spine apart, and turn to one side. Take a breath, spread your toes, exhale over. Let that spine start working, lengthening, head toward the floor. Lift the sitting bones, keep the weight on both feet, and inhale your way back up. Lift your heart, drop your shoulders, and pull your elbows back. Upper body only back then, remember. And then inhale upright, exhale around to the center, and switch your arms. And again, lengthen your spine and twist to the other side. Take a breath, exhale over. And just deepen as far as it feels right on this side, keeping your weight on both feet. And then again, inhale, come on back up and lift your heart. Stretch your elbows back and don't forget to breathe. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center, bring your arms up and shoulders down into extended mountain. Spread your toes, get those feet evenly sinking, supporting you, and then pivot forward. Push the hips back slightly, and the fingers forward, stretch that spine, and drop into ragdoll, and just hang. Pull in deeper, hands behind your legs. Really get a good stretch on the whole back of your body. And then arms to the front, wind your way back up. 
And again, as you come to the top, take a moment to breathe and stretch your spine apart. Bring your arm in next to your ear as it comes up and around, doing a little backstroke and swimming, getting the shoulders working. And then bring both arms up, come up on one side, lifting the opposite heel. So the side you're stretching, the foot is flat, and that whole rib area opening. Exhale that one down, inhale the other one. Stretch it out, really get a good lengthening, and release. Bring both arms up, palms toward the ceiling, arms by your ears. Bring the hands out to the front, and then twist them around, and bring them back out, and up. Switch the fingers and do the opposite. Hands out to the front, bend one elbow, back to the center, over to the other side, back to the center, and up. Separate your hands back down into mountain pose and feel your shoulders. Give them a good roll or two back. And then bring one arm out in front, bend the elbow, bring the elbow in, and the thumb right in front of your nose. Other arm out, and flip it under, and see if you can get those hands together. Either back of the hands or palms, whatever works for you. Pull the elbows down and in, feel that shoulder get more stretched out. Exhale any tension. And then push your elbows out, and lift the fingers toward the ceiling. So again, check those shoulders out, don't overdo it. And then release, so eagle wings, just let your eagle fly away. And of course, we will eagle the other side. Arm out, bent up into the center, and the other arm out, swinging under, and palms together or backs of your hands. Pull the elbows down and in, get everything stretching across that upper back, and then relax it. Breathe, tension out. And then elbows out slightly and lift the hands higher. Take a breath. Exhale any tension. And again, releasing those arms, just releasing back into mountain pose. Take a moment and breathe, lifting the crown. And let's do our little swing side to side. So take a moment breathing. Let those arms go in one direction and then the other and follow with your whole body. So remember, it's a twist. You're going from one side to the other, just allowing things to relax as you go. Shoulders are down. And then again, back to the center. Bring your feet together. Bend your knees, bending toward but not beyond your toes. Hands above your knees. And circle. So we're working the feet as well as the knees and hips. So just big circles as much as you'd like, but not beyond your toes. And then stop and go the other way. And just let them move around. Feeling that massage on the bottoms of your feet. And then back to the center. Find your balance focal point and lift your heels, spreading your toes out. Remember, you're on the ball of the foot. You don't have to go all the way up onto the toes. The toes are spread to give you good support. And then back and forth onto your heels and your toes. So work the whole bottom of your foot. And come on back up, feet hip width apart into mountain pose. Take a moment there, just feeling your body sinking evenly into your feet, relaxing those shoulders, feeling all that grounding. And let's do a balance. So spread your toes, get everything ankle, knee, hip, shoulder lined up, activate your core, and bring your sitting bones and shoulders toward the mat. Bring your other leg up when you're ready, nicely grounded into the ball of the foot and heel. And just draw it straight up, not across. 
and circling your ankle. Shoulders relaxing, breath full and deep. And then flex the point a few times as you put that foot back down, shifting over to the other side. Keep that core working, supporting your spine, everything aligned. Make sure that the toes and knee are in the same direction and sink into the other foot. Again, bringing the foot on the other leg up as high as you want it to go. So remember, you can stay close to the floor if you're feeling balanced, challenged, or not. Circle your ankle both ways. And again, flex and point and put it in. Take a moment as you get back to the mat and bring your hands to your heart. Take a moment and breathe. And as you inhale, bring the hands toward the ceiling, lifting your heart, expanding your lungs. Get a nice back bend, pulling those hands further behind you if you love it. And exhale, pivoting over. Just drop into ragdoll, lift your sitting bones, tuck in your chin. Pull in deeper if you like that back stretch. And bring your hands to the front. Stretch your spine long, so you're coming straight with your spine, getting a nice twist available. And bring your arms out to the side. <laughs> That's not working. Out to the side. And pivot, one hand down, the other one up as you turn. So the hip you're turning toward comes up slightly along with that shoulder as you bring your hips, ribs, and shoulder turning to the side. And then back to the center, stretch it out, and pivot the other way. Keep that spine nice and long so it can twist. Stretch it out. Lengthen and breathe. Exhale back. Pivoting to parallel to the floor. And lift your body, palms toward the ceiling, together overhead, and to your heart. Take a moment breathing. Feel your body coming into mountain pose. And step the feet a little wide. Bend your knees toward out beyond your toes, hands above your knees. Again, position don't support. Another twist, because twists are good for our spines. We don't do enough of them. So sitting bones back, crown, base of the skull forward. And we'll bring the shoulder down toward the opposite knee, lifting the hips slightly as you turn hips, ribs, and shoulder to the side. Stretch it out, lengthening, deepening your twist as much as you like, not just turning your head, but your whole spine. Exhale, turn back to the center, lengthen your spine again, and go the other way. Shoulder coming down and across towards your knee, lifting the hip, turning your shoulder and your ribs as well. Take a breath, exhale any tension. Another breath, and exhale back to the center. Tuck in your chin and round your spine, and come on back up into mat pose. Hands together, and again, inhale them toward the ceiling, looking at your thumbs as they come back into the back bend, and swan dive forward. Coming into ragdoll, just relax. Bring your hands up under your knees on your shins and straighten everything halfway up. Bend your knees and come to the floor. So child pose transition, hips to your heels, hands palms up and forehead down. Take a breath. And then again, inhaling, come on up and slide off, bringing your legs out to the front, to the end of the mat. <laughs> sitting bones behind you, core activated, and let's just slowly roll all the way down. So coming to the floor, take a moment to breathe, a little reclined integration, exhaling any tension. Feel your body and the And then Sitting bones slightly toward your heels, press your back down, and bring your heels in right next to your 
sitting bones. Knees straight up, remember. So again, roll in at the top of the thigh to make sure you're not spreading apart. Press your back down. Get that core pushing down, activating it. And then arching out, sitting bones back toward your shoulders, coming into the floor, arching from your shoulder blades all the way to your sitting bones with that rib area lifting all the way up toward the ceiling. So a little back strengthener, pulling down and pushing up. And just do that a couple of times, feeling that spine lengthen as you push those sitting bones toward your heels and back all the way into the floor and then arching up, feeling that contraction through the whole spine. And then come back to your neutral spine and we'll go into a bridge. So go ahead, feet hip width apart, knees hip width apart, straight up, back pressing down, hands at your sides. Exhale into the floor, and then inhale, lifting your hip bones. Lift your ribs, lift your hips, in a nice straight line with your body. Head on the floor, remember, not your neck. This is going to go onto your shoulders. So go ahead and clasp your hands under you. Pull one little pinky inside, one on the bottom, and put the sides of your hands down in your arms and work way up onto your shoulders. Lift your hips and breathe. So a nice bridge, pressing into your feet evenly. Getting that arch in your back as much or as little as you need. And then to release, let go of your hands. Pull your shoulders down and your shoulder blades and your ribs and the whole spine. Touching the floor, just feel your body. Let it relax. Deep breaths, tension. And of course, we're going to go up into our bridge again. But this time, when you clasp your hands, do it the opposite way. So the other little finger is on the outside, pulling in for support. So again, press your back down, feel that core contract, and inhale, lift the hip bones straight up, knees straight up, don't let them spread apart. Clasp your hands up behind you or underneath you. Again, hands and shoulders, arms into the floor, working up onto the tops of your shoulders more, but not your neck, never your neck. Always head on the floor, shoulders, and feet supporting you. Lift the hips, keep the hip bones even going up toward the ceiling. A little contraction maybe in the glutes. And don't forget to breathe. Again, feel the feet, let them support you evenly. And again, to release, hands down, shoulders down, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine all the way to the floor. Take a breath. Tension out. And we'll do one more set of bridges with a little addition. So go ahead, press back down, and keep the knees hip width apart, feet hip width apart as you again lift the hip bones into your bridge. Bring your hands under your hips and into a supported bridge. So it's going to be a little bit more probably back bending for you. May take a little weight off your feet since you've got a lot of weight now in your elbows, probably, as well as your shoulders. And your head is on the floor, not your neck. And just lift those hips. So take a moment, breathing. And you can stay there or you can straighten your legs into an extended bridge. Take a moment, breathing. And bring your feet back to under your knees. Release your hands and shoulders, shoulder blades, ribs, and spine. Back on the surface. Let your back relax down and bring your knees up toward your foot. Give yourself a nice forward bend hug, stretching the back of your body. And then head and feet to the floor. Slide the legs out. Bringing your hands to T position for our final twist. So take a moment and breathe. Let me see what twist we can do. 
I guess we'll do our bent knee twist. So go ahead, sitting bones toward your heels, bend your knees up, heels toward your sitting bones. Press your back down, bring the knees up. Keep them next to each other and just exhale, bringing the knees over to the side, turning your head toward that opposite arm. The more the knees come down, the more your low back gets in the twist. Let it happen. Just relaxing. Shoulders and shoulder blades down, nice middle back twist. And only turn your head as much as your neck will allow. Just breathing into it, exhaling any tension. Let your twist happen, no forcing. Hands can be palms up or palms down for this twist. Either way is fine. Take a breath. Just relax. You can support your knees if you want on a pillow. Never go too far in the low back if that's bad for your back. And then heels toward your hips, roll onto your back, straighten things out as much as you need to so we can twist the other leg. Knees next to each other, again, rolling to the side, right at hip level, turning your head the opposite direction. Shoulders are down, just let that whole twist happen as much or as little as your body wants and needs as you breathe. Belly soft, legs relaxing, head turning only as far as your neck is going. Just breathing, letting those shoulders just keep sinking into the surface beneath you. Deep breaths and relaxing. And of course, for our relaxation, we need to release some he he heels toward your hips, rolling onto your back, slide those legs out and hip width apart. Hands near your hips, just let them be palms up so your shoulders sink down deep into that earth surface. And let your shoulders, shoulder blades relax deep into that support. Relax your hips and legs. We did a little bit of work through those midsections today and the shoulders. So let your whole torso just soften and sink. Deep in your breath, close your eyes, tuck this inward and find any tightness left in your body. Exhale and let it go. And as you breathe and relax, just allow your body to soften and sink even deeper into that earth support. Deep breaths, letting everything relax. And as your body softens and sinks and grows heavy, just let it go from your awareness, allowing the earth to support you and your mind to just drift away. And as your mind begins to drift, know that other thoughts will come to you. Let them go as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. Just let your thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. And as you breathe, floating your mind, freeing your body, sinking into the earth, allowing everything to release, just allow your awareness to turn inward to the peace within. Feel your mind, feel your body. Take a few moments and be peace. And if that relaxation feels really good today, keep relaxing as long as you've got time. But if it's time to get ready for the rest of your day, 
Begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And begin stretching and moving however feels good for you. Breathing, moving, stretching completely as you're ready. And of course, <clears throat> when you're yet ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones toward your heels, heels toward your hips, and knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around for that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate its yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release, head and feet to the floor, roll to the side, and sit back up, getting ready for the rest of your day. Thanks for joining me.